in this lecture we shall discuss about the definition of gene types of gene gene interaction and other related things to genes first we shall see the definition of gene in classical way gene is defined as a unit of function recombination and mutation this definition is based on benzer's experiment which was conducted during 1955 the second one is evolutionary definition according to this gene is a unit of inheritance modern definition says that gene is any discrete locus of heritable genetic sequence which affect an organism traits by being expressed as a functional product or by regulation of gene expression just we shall break this uh, definition according to modern definition it uh, it uh, talks all about the hereditary property of genes the property of coding for the genomic sequence which affects the organism traits expression pattern of genes functional uh, functional uh, behavior as well as the regulation of gene expression are all the factors which are which are related to gene and the molecular definition says gene is the entire dna sequence required for synthesis of a functional protein or rna molecule in addition to the coding region or exon gene include transcription control region and sometimes introns that means in the higher eukaryotes we may find the exons on introns but in case of prokaryotes there won't be any intronic kind of sequences only the exon sequences are found types of genes classification based on their exploit ex complexity based on complexity gene is classified as single simple gene simple gene have a coding sequence of bases in one dna strand the upstream coding region the promoter is present in downstream terminator region is promote, present second is split genes split gene is nothing but the presence of coding and non coding regions that means hn rna or the mature immature rna which is consisting of split genes here the coding sequence of dna of the gene are called exons and between exons introns are present just for your better understanding i'll draw here if this is an hn rna that means here we will find exon intron exon intron exon intron and always remember if the sequence is from 5 prime to 3 prime and the particular sequence starts with exon and ends with exon and in between them you may find intron again exon again intron like that so whenever the mature rna is formed mrna is formed there you will just or you will get a sequence which is spliced out with the all introns and joining together of all exons the mrna transcribed from this dna is called precursor mrna and contains exons as well as introns introns are removed by excision and it is discarded this process is splicing the remaining segments or exons are joined together to form a mature mrna the mature mrna is much smaller than the pre mrna or hn rna example alpha globin has two introns albumin has seven introns and alpha collagen has 52 introns next is overlapping genes most genes contain dna sequence that code for own one product but there are some sequences that code for more than one protein fred sanger discovered the phenomena in bacteriophage 5 into 174 overlapping genes are common in many viruses here small length of viral dna is exploited by synthesizing different proteins this is achieved in different ways in some cases one gene generates two proteins by having different starting points similarly the same gene generates two proteins by terminating the expression of different points 
in other case sequence of dna makes no distinction between exons and introns this sequence of dna which uses only exon for expression also uses adjoining introns at one times for expression the differential splicing of a single stretch of mrna leads to overlapping and therefore different proteins are formed in this way multiple proteins can be generated from a single stretch of dna so friends i think you remember in case of split genes we were we're talking about the hnrna or pre mrna which is spliced and the all introns are removed and finally in the mature rna we will get the all exonic sequences <clears throat> together means all exons will come together and form a mature sequence which used to code but in overlapping gene what will happen here the sequences are overlapped that means certain introns are not at all spliced out that will be remained and by the joining of introns and exonic region some protein products or some encoding sequences will be there so that will form different kinds of proteins jumping genes or transposons earlier it was thought that genes are strict static and have definite and fixed locus recently it has been discovered that segments of dna can jump to new location even though this process was discovered in 1950s but after that in 1974 hedges and jacob found that when a gene for resistance to antibiotics like penicillin and ampicillin was transferred from one plasmid to another it resulted in an increase in size of the recipient plasmid the length of typical transposon is several kilobases few are much longer much of the widespread antibiotic resistance among bacteria is due to the spread of transposons that contain one or more antibiotic resistant genes when a transposon metabolizes and inserts into a conjugative plasmid it can be widely disseminated among different bacterial hosts by means of conjugation some transposons have composite structures with antibiotic resistance sandwiched with insertion sequences transposons are usually designed by the aberrations tn in case of yeast tn1 tn5 like that but it can also be denoted by some other letters variable genes variable gene contain polypeptide peptides which are coded not by one gene but they are coded by many than more than one genes present on the same or different chromosomes next is open reading frames gene is a segment of genome which is transcribed into rna if the rna is a transcript of a protein coding gene then it is called mrna this is translated into protein the rna is non coding as ribosomal rna and trna is not translated the part of the protein coding gene which is translated into protein is called open reading frame it has triplet nucleotide codons open reading frame starts with an initiation codon and ends with an terminator codon what is open reading frame as you know whatever the entire sequence may be either it is dna or rna it doesn't mean all the length of dna or rna should undergo the processing okay processing means dna undergoes transcription and rna undergoes some modifications or translation process so the sequence which is undergoing the translation process is nothing but open reading frame okay that means if it is a whole length of rna and only this particular stretch is undergoing the translation means this is nothing but open reading frame and remember this particular sequence is flanked by means at the two ends here there will be initiation codon and another one is the terminator codon initiation codon may be either a a u g like a u a like that means uh, methionine then termination as you know u a a u a g and u g a 
ओके द रीजन ऑफ डी एन ए बिफोर ए जीन इज कॉल्ड अपस्ट्रीम रीजन डिनोटेड एज माइनस ऑलवेज रिमेंबर अपस्ट्रीम रीजन इज नेगेटिव स्ट्रैंड सेंस एंड द रीजन आफ्टर द जीन इज कॉल्ड डाउन स्ट्रीम डिनोटेड एड एज प्लस मेनी जीन्स आर स्प्लिट बिटवीन एक्सॉन्स एंड इंट्रॉन्स द इंट्रॉन्स आर रिमूव बाई स्प्लाइसिंग बिफोर ट्रांसलेशन based on the behavior of genes the classification goes like this basic genes basic genes are the fundamental genes that be bring about expression of particular character lethal genes this bring death to the processor processor means the host gene or the host uh, body will be died because of the presence of this particular gene multiple gene when two or more pairs of independent genes act together to produce a single phenotypic trait cumulative gene some genes have additive effect on the action of their genes these are cumulative cumulative genes pleiotropic genes genes which produce changes in more than one character modifying gene then inhibitory gene inhibitory gene is gene which suppresses or inhibits the expression of another gene now we talk about modifying genes there is a large group of gene that come under a general heading or modifiers which influence the activity of other genes or change their phenotypic effect the modifying effect may be qualitative or quantitative so that expression of a phenotype is either enhanced or suppressed almost the process of modification is quantitative there is a recessive suppressor genes like su gene in drosophila which suppresses the effect of mutant gene for the hairy wing that is hw so the even homozygous file hw hw fail to develop hairs on their wings that means presence of homozygous hw hw leads to failing the production of wing uh, hairs on their wings the same gene that is so hw reduces the expression of a few other mutant phenotypes such as one causes the gene for interrupted wing veins and forked bristles another suppressor gene so s is in drosophila is restricted to in its action so that it reduces the expression of only one dominant gene which controls the star eye shape in human being the occurrence of minor brachydactyly a form of uh, brachydactylic in which only in index finger is of shorter length in norwegian family it is due to the dominant gene capital b which is a modified gene of m which modifies the effect of gene b to produce variable phenotypes thus the individuals with both b and m capital genes the index finger is very much shortened persons having this b and recessive alleles of the modifying gene small mm show only a slight shortening of the same finger modifier genes by themselves do not seem to produce a viable phenotype that means the presence of capital b and capital m sometimes modifies its effect not sometimes always if they are present together and they lead to the process of the condition of brachydactyly lethal genes in lethal gene it is further classified as lethal sub lethal sub vital vital and super vital lethal genes are the modifications in mendelian ratio caused by interaction of genes lethal genes can also alter the basic 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio and head to death of an organism as i told you lethal means it uh, alters the mendelian ratio and finally we will get 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio is modified into only 2 is to 1 ratio okay so again the lethal ratio or lethal genes are classified as dominant lethals and recessive lethals whereas the dominant lethals are very dangerous and causes the severe death of any organism where they are prevalent dominant lethal example is yellow body color in mice which is uh, dominant over brown but the yellow mice are never true breeder 
When yellow mice are inbred, the progeny contains the yellow and brown mice in two is to one ratio, which does not fit any of the Mendelian experiments or explanations. The little size after inbreeding is smaller by one fourth as compared to little size resulting from a cross between yellow and brown. When yellow mice were backcrossed to true breeding brown mice, only heterozygous yellow mice were developed. That means homozygous dominant yellow mice were removed or they were not existing due to the lethal effect. Here the question comes, why were homozygous yellow mice never born? The answer comes from the French geneticists Conrad and he sacrificed Y capital Y small Y fragment a pregnant female after inbreeding and examined the embryo to determine its if death occurred in embryonic stage or not. Indeed, one fourth of the embryo were observed to die in later stage of development. Thus, only homozygous yellow and brown mice in the ratio heterozygous yellow and brown in the ratio of 2 is to 1 were born and the 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio was expected when a cross between two heterozygous is made was never obtained proving the lethal expression of homozygous yellow mice that means when the two heterozygotes were crossed okay what was obtained according to mendelian ratio capital Y by 1 raised to 2 is to capital Y small y and uh, 1 is to 1 small by small y should result but due to the lethal effect of yellow color over the brown color homozygous yellow was not at all obtained so only 2 is to 1 ratio was obtained the Brachiary gene in mouse is lethal in the homozygous state and when heterozygous the animal survives but with a short tail. Embryo homozygous for brachiary shows complete absence of notochord, a few abnormalities and die in uterus. When two short tail mice heterozygous for brachiary are crossed, the viable offspring produced to show a phenotypic ratio of two short tail and one normal tail. In quite a few plants including maize, soybean, antirenum, that is snapdragon, there is dominant lethal gene which interferes with the process of photosynthesis and chlorophylls is not synthesized. Young seedlings which emerge from a seed carrying the homozygous dominant gene are yellow and die at a very young stage due to starvation. The heterozygous seedlings are light green in color and able to survive. That means albino condition are majority of the time seen in maize which is due to this dominant lethal system where severe starvation happens and the plants will die. In all the cases, the dominant lethal genes are homozygous. In if it is homozygous state, the gene leads to early death, whereas the heterozygous are viable. Perhaps the most serious effect a gene can have is to cause death even in the heterozygous state. The gene causing Huntington's chorea in men expresses itself when a single dominant allele is present. Whether homozygous or heterozygous, the phenotype of the disease becomes visible at middle age, usually after 40 years. The individuals suffer from muscular failure, mental retardation and finally death. Since the onset of Huntington's chorea is much after the start of the reproductive period, the gene can be transmitted to the next generation of offspring also. Another dominant gene which causes Apiloia in human being leads to death in early stage of life even in the heterozygous condition due to severe mental effects, tumors and abnormal skin growth. Dominant lethal genes which express lethality at an early stage in life are not detectable in the population. The second process is recessive lethality. Recessive lethal genes remain unnoticed in the population because it does not produce a visible phenotype in the heterozygous state. In fact, it may be transmitted through heterozygous carriers for many generations without being detected. 
Consequently, a large number of recessive lethal genes are known as compared to the dominant lethals. That means in nature, we may observe the dominant lethal condition also. But if we compare the dominant and recessive form, recessive lethals are more found as compared to dominant one. There are recessive lethal genes in men which causes death to newborn infants by producing internal adhesions of the lungs. A fetus homozygous for the gene completes its embryonic development with the help of oxygen supplied by the maternal blood. But death occurs soon after birth when the lungs fail to function normally. Such a recessive lethal gene is carried in heterozygous individuals without producing harmful effect. It is detected only when two heterozygous persons marry and about one-fourth of their children die after birth as they receive uh, both recessive lethals from their parents. Another example is Tay-Sex disease cause death in young children. Individuals who homozygous for this gene lack one of the enzymes needed for normal metabolism of fatty acid substances. The phenotype of the disease becomes visible after the first one year after when fatty substances accumulate in the nerve cells. The transmission of nerve impulses becomes affected leading to loss of muscular control and mental deficiency. Within a few years, the individual dies. In human, there is a good chance of expression of recessive lethal genes in offspring of first cousin marriages. Single allele of a gene may have been present in normal ancestors. It is only when the two alleles combine in the offspring of closely related persons then lethality is expressed. That's why the close cousin marriages or the close relative marriages are always forbidden. The in mouse the hydrocephaly is due to recessive lethal genes due to embryonal development that is abnormal growth of cartilage this leads to irregularity in the formation of skull and brain and excessive accumulation of cerebrospinal fluid embryos carrying the homozygous gene do not survive heterozygous are phenotypically normal that means here also the normal ratio is altered one is to two is to one where one will be died in the heterozygous uh, homozygous recessive condition and this will be survived so what will happen due to the dominance effect when the recessive lethals are carrying forward to the next generation they will be safe in the heterozygous form okay so that their expression won't be given results in a single generation uh, it may lead it may carried forward for several generations also there is a recessive lethal gene in the beef producing cattle that is lentex in england dexter is the heterozygous breed which is highly prized for her higher qualities of and quantity of beef meat it can produce the common breed of cattle known as kerry which has uh, two homozygous dominant gene in normal like the dexter but produce less meat when the two dexters are crossed the progeny consists of one kerry two dexter and one bulldog bulldog cough carries two recessive lethal genes has very short leg and a few abnormalities and dies soon after its birth now the sex linked lethals this is a system in which the lethal gene carries a sex chromosome usually x intrasophila sex linked recessive lethals are frequently employed to detect mutations recessive lethal gene carries one x chromosome in specially important in the hemizygous male individuals because it can express lethality when only a single allele is present presence of a lethal x linked gene can also alter the sex ratio so that more females are born instead of the expected ratio of one female and one male thus a female carrying a recessive lethal gene will produce a progeny in which one half of the male offspring would not be viable Disturbance in sex ratio is clearly visible in organisms like Drosophila, which produce a large progeny. In human beings, existence of sex-linked lethal gene is suspected in those families whose female births occur far more frequently than male births. 
in human beings lethal effect among the progeny may be caused accidentally by radiation treatment of the reproductive organs of the parents according to the study Turpin in a uh, study of R. Turpin is a scientist. When women receive X ray exposure in the pelvic region for abdominal ailments, recessive lethal mutations are induced in the X chromosome present in the ovum. Such a woman, pro woman produces more females and very few males in the progeny. If the male parent is exposed to X-rays and dominant lethal mutations are induced on the, his X chromosome, there will be more boys in the progeny and few females. This is because the single X chromosome is passed to the daughters, resulting in their death. Muscular dystrophy or Dechny type is due to the X-linked recessive gene which shows a visible phenotype many years after birth. Boys having this gene are normal for about 10 years after which there is failure of muscular control and death results. Conditional lethals Sometimes an organism lives normally under one set of conditions, but when certain changes are introduced into the environment, lethality results. One of the first conditional lethals known was recognized by Dobsonsky in Drosophila pseudo-obtusa. In flies, the flies normal, uh, live normally at a temperature of 16.5 degrees Celsius, but at 25.5 degrees Celsius, the flies die. Similarly, in the wasp bracon habitor, the mutant gene which produces kidney eye at lower temperature expresses lethality at a temperature of 30. That means certain temperature here is responsible for the lethality. At 16.5, the flies are normal and at 25.5 degrees Celsius, the flies are dying. Number of conditions lethals have been described in Drosophila melanogaster by Suzuki in 1970. He has indicated that certain mutant strains became lethal when they were exposed to high temperature only during the lethal larval stage. This is called temperature sensitive stage. If the larvae are kept at low temperature during the specific temperature sensitive stage, the flies born can live normally even at high temperature throughout their life cycle. Means at critical stage or sensitive stage, the flies should be given the lower temperature and other stages of the life they can lead a normal life. Perhaps a specific gene product, an enzyme or a protein becomes altered causing death if the larva are exposed to high temperature during the critical period. In fact, with this perspective, condition leaders are being studied extensively in microorganisms for analysis genes, enzymes and proteins. In poultry, there are recessive genes which cause uh, feathers to break off. Chickens homozygous for this gene becomes devoid of feathers but are able to live normally if they are kept in a relatively warm environment. But if the temperature falls below the optimum, the chickens die due to lack of insulation provided by normal feathers. Here, this is just a reverse case of the previously discussed case. Like in chicken, when the high temperature is there, they can survive, but temperature is reduced means there will be death due to the uninsulation of the normal feathers. Conditional levels have been well studied in some haploid organisms like yeast, neurospora and others. It is easy to study lethal genes in haploid organisms because presence of even a single results in lethality. In wild type neurospora, it is able to grow on a medium deficient in the amino acid arginine because it provides all the necessary enzymes required for synthesis of arginine from sugar and ammonia. But a mutant stain of neurospora will not be able to grow on the same medium. A stain of yeast that grows normally on a glucose medium can show lethal effects if grown on a medium containing galactose. The mutant gene therefore acts as a conditional lethal. That means at certain condition it acts and at certain condition there won't be any action or there will be the expression of lethality. Now the early and late acting lethals. The 
earliest stage at which lethal genes can act is evident for, from studies of mutations in gametes. Normal gametes are more viable and have better chance of affecting fertilization and reproducing zygotes. The lethal genes are eventually lost with the death of unfertilized gametes. Such genes are referred to as genetic lethals. The phenomena by which a certain class of gametes is specifically inhibited from taking part in the fertilization has been formed meiotic drive by Stadler and Nevetsky. There is a gene called segregating distorter SD present on the second chromosome of Drosophila. The dominant allele of this gene does not allow gametes to participate in fertilization. Thus, only gametes bearing the recessive alleles, that is small SD, are able to fertilize eggs and produce viable zygotes. Since this also results in distortion of typical Mendelian ratio, the name segregation distortion has been given to this group. These are lethal genes that act after zygote formation, resulting in embryonic death. Experimental animal like in mouse, it is possible to determine lethal effect by sacrificing impregnated females and analyzing the dead embryos. However, the death can occur very early in the embryonic development. This technique does not succeed because actual observations of abnormal embryo is not possible. There is a gene which exerts a killing effect by preventing normal cleavage of the zygote. Such a gene is called zygotic lethals. In human, the gene described for causing adhesions in lungs express lethality soon after the birth when the lungs of the newborn infant fail to function normally. In plants, most lethal genes are known to act during or after the seed germination. Among late-acting lethal genes, some clear-cut examples can be cited like in human diseases, genes causing muscular dystrophy that is Dekini type, Tay-Sachs disease cause the death before the second decade of life, then before the upset of reproduction, Huntington's chorea on the other hand is fatal when the person is middle-aged and the gene may have already been passed on to the future generations. Next is movable gene. Movable gene is nothing but transposons. There are genes or segments of DNA that are become import, incorporated and function at a number of locations on the genome. Molecular studies have shown that F elements consist of three L functional different blocks in the genes. One region contains a gene necessary for the transfer of F elements to conjugation from one bacterium to another. Second region controls the auto autonomous replication of F and third region contains a number of different insertional sequences. The insertion of F factor is brought about by a recombination between one of the IS sequence on the F factor and an IS sequence on the host chromosome that means here is moves from one position to one and the range in size is 700 to 1400 base pairs when an is sequence is inserted into a gene it breaks the continuity of the gene sequence and may or may not inhibit the expression of gene is sequence also exerts some effect on adjacent genes more often the adjacent genes are inactivated sometimes Previously silenced gene could become activated. IS sequence appear also to be a hotspot that is vulnerable location for deletions. They are also involved in a number of recombination phenomena. Based on the uh, expression of genes, again it is divided into housekeeping, inducible, repressible majorly housekeeping genes are those genes which are co consistently or constantly express themselves in a cell because of their products are required all the time for the normal cellular activities just like genes for glycolysis atps then mrna trna rrna which are required for transcription translation and other processes throughout the life cycle of an individual and these are known as housekeeping genes Non-constitutive genes are also known as luxury genes.
these genes are not always express themselves in a cell they are switched on or off according to the requirements of cellular activities example gene for nitrate reductase in plants lactosynthase in escherichia coli non constitutive genes are a further two types like inducible and repressible inducible gene the genes are switched on in response to the presence of a chemical substance or inducer which is required for the functioning of a product of gene activity example nitrate for nitrate reductase repressible gene inducible gene is lack of peron in e coli then repressible gene which are those genes which continue to express themselves till a chemical inhibitor or repressor repress their activity inhibition by an end product is known as feedback repression this is found in tryptophan operon multi genes or multi gene families a group of similar or nearly similar genes for meeting requirement of a time and tissue specific products example of multi genes are globin gene family it may be epsilon delta beta gamma on chromosome 11 then alpha and delta on chromosome 16 repeated gene gene coding for multiple copies like histone genes tid rna rrna actin genes are repeated genes single copy gene genes present in a single copy occasionally two to three times they form 60 to 70% of the functional genes duplications mutations and exon reshuffling between two genes form new genes pseudo genes they are genes which have homology to functional genes but are unable to produce functional products due to interact intervening nonsense codons insertions deletions and inactivation of promoter regions example several snrna genes or an inactive rna sequence derived from an active gene by the accumulation of inactivating mutations processed genes processed genes are the eukaryotic genes which lack introns processed genes have been formed probably due to reverse transcription or retroviruses processed genes are generally non functional as they lack promoters split genes i have already explained transposons also overlapping also structural genes now we shall discuss these genes code for chemical substances which contribute to morphological or functional traits of the cell there are nowadays called introns these are continuous in prokaryotes and split in introns and exons in eukaryotes they include polypeptide coding genes then polyprotein coding genes polypeptide protein genes are those code for mrna which in turn code for polypeptides polypeptide may act as a component of an organelle such as actin of muscular fibers as enzyme like dna polymerase receptor or carrier protein of cell membrane transport protein like hemoglobin a hormone like insulin an antibody or antigen polyprotein coding genes are those genes code for more than one polypeptide per gene now the rna coding genes these code for rrna and trna they are tandemly repeated in the chromosome regular like regulator genes genes code for repressor protein for regulating the transcription of histones operator genes are the genes acting as a switch to turn on and turn off the transcription of a structural gene as and when the cell requires promoter gene the gene of dna sequence site where dna rna polymerase binds for a transcription of rna of structural genes terminator gene the genes of dna region where rna polymerase activity stops to suspend transcription of structural genes marker gene gene that is easy to find out or observe when marker is present with a specific gene what will happen we can easily detect its movement in the different generations suicide gene gene that code for an antibiotic that can kill the host bacterial cell it is genetically modified into the bacterium along with a molecular switch that is controlled by a nutrient in the environment when the nutrient disappears the suicide gene is switched on and the bacteria dies suppressor gene means a gene that can reverse the effect of mutation in other genes complex gene or locus 
found in drosophila a very large locus concerned with a single trait and usually has two or more genes with related functions the regulatory regions are usually large mutable gene gene having unusually large spontaneous mutation rate mutation gene means change in the base sequence of a gene usually produces mutant phenotype Mutator gene means gene which causes another gene or gene to undergo spontaneous mutation. Now, monogene, oligogene, polygenes. Monogenes means a gene producing marked effect on the expression of a character and that the individuals can be easily detected. That means with major effect the individual is detected is monogene. Oligogene means gene. monogene is also known as major gene. Oligogene means a gene producing a marked effect on the expression of a character so that individuals can be easily grouped into a separate classes on the basis of their, their this trait. Its expression is relatively little affected by the environment. Whereas in other hand polygenes means genes having individual small but cumulative effect on a character they govern quantitative characters. Oncogenes Gene which transforms an animal cell into a tumor forming or cancerous cell. Cellular oncogenes are an integral part of the animal genome while viral oncogenes are present in the genomes of tumor activating viruses. Both are very similar. Now we shall discuss some of the terminologies related to gene. The first terminology is gene conversion. It's a process of non-reciprocal recombination due to which allele is present in the excess of other in the recombination product. That means one gene product which has to be processed will be converted to another product. Gene family is a set of genes whose exons are related derived from an ancestral gene by duplication followed by divergence due to a mutation. Always remember when we talk about gene family, the gene families are formed by related exons through duplication followed by divergence due to mutations. Gene frequency is the proportion of one allele relative to all the alleles of a gene in a Mendelian population. Gene pool. Some total of all the alleles present in a breeding or reproductive members of a random mating population is gene pool. Luxury genes are the gene coding for specialized functions. These are non-constitutive and expressed in a particular cell type only. Gene therapy. Introduction of normal genes into a cell in place of mixing or defective ones in order to correct the genetic disorders. Gene therapy is mainly used in order to eliminate the germline uh, defects in human being. Recently, in China, one scientist worked with eliminating a particular sequence which is responsible for HIV, but due to some legal issues, he was jailed. The types of gene therapy are germline gene therapy and somatic gene therapy. Germline gene therapy leads to unhereditary repair of particular uh, defect in human being split or interrupted genes as i already discussed maternal effect genes these are those genes whose products rna or protein are produced or deposited in the oocyte or are present in the fertilized egg or embryo before expression segmentation gene Gene involved in the early stage of pattern formation that define repeated units or metamers in a segmented organism, usually the embryo. The, these are classified into three groups like gap genes, payroll genes and segment polarity genes. Gap gene is a typical gene involved in the development of a segmented embryo of the arthropods. Gap genes are defined by the effect of a mutation in the gene which causes loss of continuous body segments resembling a gap in the normal body span. Now, major genes are minor genes. Major genes means their effect can be easily detected. Minor genes means they are additive and forming cumulative effect. So, friends, so far we discussed about the different classes and different types of genes. Now, we shall see the types of gene action. Gene action is also one of the deviation from Mendelism. 
द इंटरेक्शन विद द अलिज ऑफ जीन कंट्रोलिंग ए सिंगल कैरेक्टर मे बी डोमिनेंट इनकम्प्लीटली डोमिनेंट और को डोमिनेंट एंड आर कॉल्ड इंटा अलिल इंटरेक्शन when there is an interaction occur between different pairs of alleles influencing a character of individual it is said to be interallelic interaction or epistasis the gene that has masking effect is called epistatic gene and the gene whose effect is masked is known as hypostatic gene epistasis leads to modification of normal dihybrid or dihybrid segregation ratio in f2 generation that means gene interaction is only expressed or explained in f2 generation not in f1 generation always you need to remember here gene interaction is a phenomena which was coined by bateson this is also known as epistasis where interallelic interaction takes place and this was observed by bateson in 1909 based on this interaction of interallelic it is divided into recessive epistasis also known as supplementary interaction that gives ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 4 modified ratio means here the mendelian normal 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio is modified into different ratios like recessive epistasis or supplementary interaction is 9 is to 3 is to 4 dominant epistasis is the masking gene effect which gives 12 is to 3 is to 1 ratio dominant and recessive epistasis is inhibitory epistasis 13 is to 1 ratio is uh, the modified form of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 duplicate recessive epistasis is 9 is to 7 that is also called as complementary epistasis or complementary gene action duplicate dominant epistasis is duplicate epistasis that is 15 is to 1 then uh, polymeric gene action is 9 is to 6 is to 1 and additive gene action is 1 is to 4 is to 6 is to 4 is to 1 is the modification of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 okay so there are majorly seven types of gene interactions or epistasis which were coined by bateson in 1909 first we shall discuss about the normal dihybrid ratio according to the law of independent assortment classical cases of two gene affecting one of the same character are produced in f2 four different phenotypes are produced which was discovered in foals by bateson and punnett each breed of poultry possess character type of comb the vantert bear bred breed has a comb known as rose comb brahma has pea comb leghorn has single and malayan has walnut comb each of these breeds true cross between rose comb and single comb type show rose in dominant in single comb and has the segregation three rows and one single comb in the f2 in mating between p combine the single combined 3 is to 1 ratio appears in f2 in mating between p combined with single uh, combed bird p combed is found to be dominant over the single comb and 3 is to 1 ratio will appear when the walnut combs are inbred there appears in f2 as three wall three walnut and rose p single comb as well as the ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 the rose comb is due to the presence of capital r gene and p comb due to capital p gene walnut comb is due to the presence of dominant genes r and p the single comb are due to the presence of recessive of r and p the ratio is expected 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 in f2 this uh, is particularly given in the checkerboard here 9 walnut Three rows, three p, and single one ratio is observed. Other examples uh, is the Mendelian experiment on garden peas. Second one is duplicate recessive epistasis or complementary gene action. When recessive allele at either of the two loci can mask the expression of dominant allele at the two loci this is duplicate recessive epistasis that means whenever we find that this kind of condition we will find a definite phenotype but when if single one is not present that means presence of both the 
dominant gene is required for the expression if any one is not present that means specific expression is observed and that will be modified here 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 is modified as 9 is to 7 that means 9 are forming a definite phenotype and 3 is to 3 is to 1 will be modified into 7 and this will form a separate phenotype if we go for test cross we will find 1 is to 3 ratio here okay the best example of duplicate recessive epistas is found for flower color in sweet pea the purple color of flower in sweet pea is governed by two dominant genes say a and b when those genes are in separate individuals and uh, white the produce white flower cross between purple flower and white crop flower the stain produce purple color in the f1 interacting or intermating of f1 plant produce purple and white flower giving 9 is to 7 ratio in f2 here the recessive allele a is epistatic to capital b by small b alleles and mask the expression of these alleles Another recessive gene small b is epistatic to capital A by small a allele and mask their expression. The diagrammatic picture is given like this. Purple and white are crossed and heterozygous purple is obtained, uh, obtained in F1. And when they are uh, interbred or uh, inbred, the segregation ratio goes like 9 will be giving the purple flower. Okay here this 9 will be given the purple flower and rest 7 will be giving the white flower here one more is remaining this all will be giving white flower where one of the dominant gene is absent other examples for complementary interaction is aluron color in maize and hcn hydrocyanic acid production in clover and sorghum where the h and n gene should be present for hcn production next next is duplicate gene action or duplicate dominant epistasis Presence of a single dominant allele of any one of the two genes governing the trait produce the dominant phenotype and the recessive homozygous produce a unique phenotype. When a dominant allele at either of the two loci can mask the expression of recessive allele at the two loci, it is known as duplicate dominant epistasis in rice on character is controlled by two dominant duplicate genes. Presence of any of these two alleles can produce the on. Onless condition develop only when both the genes are in, are in homozygous recessive state. A cross between ond and onless stains produce ond plants in F1. Intermating of the F1 plants produce ond and onless plants in 5 15 is to 1 ratio. The allele A is epistatic to small AB allele and all plants having allele capital A will develop on. Another dominant allele B is epistatic to allele small A B and the individuals with those alleles also develop on character here you may find two two things one is on character and on less character on character is dominant over the on less character so in f1 we got all the on the individuals means progeny when we go for the intermating what will happen or selfing we will obtain the ratio in such a way means in case of duplicate dominant epistasis what will happen here presence of at least one of the allele with the dominance will lead to a different phenotype that is on the kind so what you will find here all the 15 which are having at least at least one allele of dominant kind will lead to presence of ons and when the recessive one is observed this is wrong here this is a a b b okay when recessive is observed complete recessiveness lead to onless condition example floating and non-floating rice floating rice is a small that is in recessive form dw1 dw1 dw2 dw2 and uh, non-floating is capital dw1 dw1 
and dw2 dw2 so here non floating habit is dominant over the floating habit and uh, whenever only in the recessive condition if the alleles are there that will lead to non floating rice condition fruit shape in capsilla and nodulation in groundnut are the another examples when two or more genes have the same effect in a given tree they are referred as duplicate genes in maize for yellow endosperm which is dominant over white endosperm that means we will find 15 yellow kind which is dominant or one recessive kind a pure breeding yellow endosperm may show crossed to white endosperm to yield yellow endosperm in f1 and when we cross the uh, in intermating in f2 generation we will obtain yellow in 15 ratio and white in 1 ratio third is inhibitory gene action this type of epistasis dominant allele at one locus can mask the expression of both dominant and recessive alleles at second locus this is also known as inhibitory gene action example this type is found for anthocyanin pigmentation in rice the green color of plant is governed by the gene i which is dominant over the purple color the purple color is controlled by dominant gene p which a cross was made between allele green as a capital i i and small p p and small i i and capital p p color plants the f1 was green intermating f1 plants produce green and purple in 13 is to 3 ratio in f2 other examples are development of plumage in poultry and production of anthocyanin pigment in rice so we will see the cross in this checkerboard parent capital a a small b b and uh, that is on rice and on less condition is small a a and capital b b because according to condition only when there is a an inhibitory gene present at the first position the on less condition is occurring okay so what will happen we are crossing the on and on less in f1 we got the on rice so here you can find that wherever you are finding the dominance at the first position okay either it may be a single loci or single allele or the two alleles here in all the condition you can find the on type and in the last this is given wrongly here you will find all the recessive alleles okay so all the recessive means there won't be any expression obviously on the condition is found and here whenever there is inhibition of the expression there also we will find the on the condition and three are the on less or we can say if we will take the dominance of green over the purple here we can find all the individuals having dominant loci at the first position dominant allele either it may be at first position or second position what will happen here we will find the green type and wherever they are absent or in recessive form means we obtained the purple kind next is supplementary gene action that is recessive epistasis 9 is to 3 is to 4 means the normal 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 is modified as 9 is to this will remain same 3 will also remain the same and these two will be forming a one unit here the dominant gene has its own phenotypic effect and other dominant gene has no effect on its own but in presence with the first gene modifies the expression of the other gene that means this with the first gene this are modified thus the supplementary gene action the dominant gene of one gene is uh, necessarily for the development of the concerned phenotype while the other gene modifies the expression of first gene other examples are a gooty coat color in mice this is how the work purple and red are crossed purple is a f1 and when intermating is done the purples here are different okay all are having the recessive form uh, heterozygous form of first one and 
capital or uh, heterozygous form in the second that means RRPP will be forming one kind of phenotype and when uh, there is a recessive condition is found then another phenotype is observed and when there is the expression of small one means this will mask the expression of capital R and when this is in the recessive form means the another phenotypic condition is observed okay and the same phenotypic expression is observed in the recessive form additive factor or polymeric gene action here the two genes controlling a character produce a identical phenotype when they are alone and with the homozygous recessive condition of the other gene but when both the genes are present together their phenotypic expression is enhanced as it is the effect of the two genes when cumulative or additive for example on character in barley and fruit shape in summer squash the here the on character taken is on length okay capital uh, dominant forms are long armed and uh, recessive are on less when they are crossed f1 uh, progeny is long armed and when this is uh, self orientated what will happen here we will find three kind of structures means based on the dosage of the alleles here we will find the length of the arms find here that the normal ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 is modified as 9 is to 6 is to 1 okay so what will happen this is one phenotype these two remains the, the second phenotype and this will form a third phenotype so see here all the nine are forming with the long on okay so where one gene is recessive okay either of the gene is recessive what you are finding here you are finding the on or medium length on okay and where complete recessiveness is there that is on less condition the condition is also observed in the spherical fruit plant or fruit shape in summer squash the shade different shapes observed are discoid spherical and cylindrical discoid is the dominant character then the intermediate position is spherical and cylindrical is the recessive form coming to the dominant epistasis or max king gene action this is found in fruit color like white yellow green white color is controlled by a dominant gene capital w and yellow color by dominant gene capital g white is codominant over both the yellow and green here remember there are two colors dominant gene w and yellow color by dominant gene g codominance on both yellow and green character is observed the green fruit are produced in recessive condition a cross between plant having white and yellow flower other examples for dominant uh, gene action is jawar seed color and fruit color in summer squash coming to the additive gene action in additive gene action each positive allele of a two gene governing a trait produce equal and identical effect on a character effect of a positive allele present in an individual at the two loci are additive as a result 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 dihybrid ratio is partitioned into 1 is to 4 is to 6 is to 4 is to 1 ratio Gene action is the basis for Nelson Ellis multiple factor hypothesis that means the ratio of additive gene action was found by Nelson Ellis multiple factor hypothesis also who conducted experiment on the color of a neuron on wheat. Therefore genes showing additive gene action are called multiple factors and more commonly polygenes. This is how the phenotypic uh, ratio was ob obtained like black negro this was uh, the human skin color obtained in uh, the across the world in different continents like uh, black dark melilotai melilotai light melilotai and white when the negro and white kind of phenotypes were crossed
other examples are inheritance of seed color in wheat now we shall discuss the molecular basis of gene interaction expression of genes certain enzymatic action and gene action are quite important for example hcn production in sorghum requires presence of two dominant genes h and l genes generally produce their phenotypic effect by directing the synthesis of specific protein often more complicated situation occur for most biochemical reactions thus a gene do not act in isolation to produce a phenotype but genes always express in groups or two or three combination of genes give a different phenotypic product that is the basis of gene interaction its expression depends on many other genes which govern the production of the enzyme involved in the concerned reaction gene like here the production of hydrocyanic acid or hcn production in clover or sorghum is uh, governed by two particular genes h and l when h and l both genes are present they will give an uh, there will be a production of enzyme l and h which gives the expression of substrate and cyanogenic glucoside production here if any one of these enzymes are absent for example if uh, enzyme l is absent there won't be any production of substrate okay if enzyme h is absent means there won't be any presence of cyanogenic glucoside or production of hcn so what will happen the interaction of these two will be giving the hydrocyanic acid but if the enzyme itself is not produced means the product is also not produced so the entire pathway will be collapsed that means there is there are gene combinations or interaction between the genes which give a specific molecular reaction and production of certain compound friends so far we discussed about different genes gene definition then gene interaction and their molecular basis thank you